Okay, so I was going to just do my face before starting this for you, but I figured, you know what, now is as good a time as any. <clears throat> this is me without makeup. The only thing I have on is a bit of brow, um, brow gel and stuff in there, just because I don't have a lot of, I'm going to have eyebrows, but <laughs> it looks better this way. So here's me without makeup, that I'd start this the right way from the beginning. Um, one thing I forgot in my Ulta haul video, the Smashbox thing, also came with, um, what is this, Photo Finish Primer. I forgot that. It was sitting, it wasn't in the case. I had set it out because I was using it. Um, so, here we go. Face is all clean, moisturized, all that fun stuff. It says to smooth a pea-sized amount, although I don't know if pea-sized is enough. So that was probably about half pea-sized. And obviously there's no there's no foundation or anything in this, so whatever you use for foundation is fine. Um, so they go from the primer straight to the eye stuff, but you're going to watch me do my foundation a bit. Uh, I am currently using L'Oreal True Match until I can get my the right color for my face atelier um, foundation. I just haven't had a chance to order it yet. So we're just going to use this right now. I'll do my airbrush stuff in another video. Figure this would take a little less time to do. So I just kind of tipped it out. I'm using a foundation brush. I'm not sure what the brand of these brushes are. I bought them in a kit. Um, I think there were, I don't know, 15 different brushes. And I got them on Hot Look. And I got them, I think, for about 25 bucks. But I actually have two brush sets that I use. Because there's just so many different brushes to use. But I actually, I want to try to get a Sigma set for my business brushes. Because they're really nice. Like these will do fine for use on myself. I don't need fancy brushes for myself. But... To use on customers and clients, I I want a nicer set. These are really nice. I have a Nicole Miller set, which was a private from a private website thing, um, and they're really nice. But I don't. They didn't have everything. Like it didn't have a foundation brush, and it didn't have highlighter brush, and there are only so many things that it had. And always use a bit of a spackling motion like you're spackling a wall. You don't want lines from the brush on your face. Look at that. Better already? Okay, so foundation is done. And then I put powder on. Um, they tell you to use a brush, but honestly, I prefer using the sponges. I find it gets a little better setting power that way. The brushes, I find they tend to just kind of throw the powder around instead of really putting it where I want it to go. So, face is done. Much better, right? Yay! And I'm not going to do that for the next videos. You saw it here. You don't need to see it in the other ones too. I'll just go straight to the eyes for those. 
Okay, so here we go with the Smashbox stuff. I'm going to go ahead and open up the eyes. And the cheek stuff. And if you didn't watch the video, my Ulta haul video, where I got these things, you may want to look at that just to hear the descriptions of each of these because I went over what what each of the things were that I'm doing in this kit. Okay, so we want to do um, start with the lightest shade vanilla. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! I said this in my other one, and I almost forget it here. Eyeshadow potion, primer potion, must use. Um, Smashbox didn't have any eyeshadow primer in this kit, but I always, always, always use primer. This is the Urban Decay Eden, which dries to a bit of a matte finish. You can even wear this by itself with no eyeshadow on it if you're in a, on a day where you just need to run out to the store, um, like the Walgreens or something. <clears throat> So you can kind of see it just it just evens everything out. There's no redness there. And it just prepares your eyelid for the shadows. Do the other side. Alright, now I'm using eyeshadow brush. I don't again, I don't know what oh this is Nicole Miller. You can see Nicole Miller on there. That's the private brand that I said before, but I use this one for base colors. So we're going to take the vanilla here, the lightest one. This is a very nice powder. And we're just going to go from lash line up to brow. Do a little bit extra in the corners just to keep it light. 